Hi, this is my informative speech on globalized human trafficking for profit. I am Deborah Sampson. The purpose of this speech is to inform the people on the frequency and volume of kidnapping for profit globally. Introduction. Human trafficking has come to mean a cohort coercive and exploitative forced crossing of international borders. Trafficking people means the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of persons by means of threat or use of force and other forms of coercion, of abduction, of fraud, of deception, and of the abuse of power or a position of vulnerability or other giving of payments or benefits to achieve the consent of a person in order to have control over another person for the purpose of exploitation. The central idea is that kidnapping for profit or human trafficking for profit has become increasingly profitable and increasingly popular globally. Good afternoon. My name is Deborah Sampson and my informative speech is on global kidnapping for profit. I have researched extensively Extensively, human trafficking, its origin, the reasons behind it, the places where it happens, happens most frequently, the repercussions traffickers face if they are caught, and the reward if they are not. In this speech, I will bring awareness to the reasons men, women, and children are being trafficked, some of the global locations where trafficking is popular, and some of the ramifications of human trafficking. There is so much mis misinformation about trafficking globally, so let me inform you about the realities of human trafficking. Main point one. Trafficking, trafficking for ransom has become a way of life in some countries. On June 4, 2008, a 14-year-old male, Fernando Mari, the son of one of Mexico's wealthiest businessmen, was riding through Mexico. Mexico City in his family's bulletproof sedan when armed men dressed as federal agents uniformed stopped the car at checkpoint. The, at, once they stopped the car, the driver was tortured, the bodyguards were strangled, and left for dead, the boy was taken for ransom. Despite delivering more than two million and ransom, Fernando was never released. On August 1st, 2008, his body was found stuffed in the trunk of an abandoned car. And Marina's Venezuela, the country's poorest state, a three-year-old girl was kidnapped in 2009 from the Me Jordan slum. After receiving information that the only thing of value the girl's family owned was a refrigerator, the abductor advised the family to sell it in order to pay the ramps in the Glamoury 808. In some countries, such as Colombia, Mexico, and Brazil, kidnapping has evolved from a crime into a business venture. Due to the efforts to combat the universal war on drugs, the drug cartel and gangs that afflict these countries have turned to kidnapping for ransom as an alternative source of income. Human trafficking has become synonymous with trafficking for, for sex, trafficking of sex work, which primarily involves women and girls, Rayo and Presetti, 231. Trafficking for forced labor, which often involves men and boys, continues to be an overlooked component of global human trafficking. Labor trafficking is where persons rec are recruited, transported, or obtained through the use of force or fraud to provide labor or other services. As an example of an example of this is forcing a foreign national to work for free by threatening deportation. Main point two, human trafficking is popular globally. East Asia and the Pacific are human trafficking hotspots. The largest number of people trafficked into the United States come from East Asia and the Pacific. Five to seven thousand victims, U.S. Department of Justice. And Ming Kong, in the Ming Kong region, women from Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Myanmar suffer a similar fate. Duped by false promises of a better life in China, they are flown out and sold as wives to Chinese men, an overwhelming number of whom are single due to the serious gender imbalance caused by the country's 
one child policy. In some cases, these women are forced to produce children, whereas others are kept in sexual slavery and mistreated by their new families. Zine. Latin America is a main order for human traffic. The next highest numbers come from Latin America and from Europe between 3,500 to 5,500 5, victims each year. U.S. Department of Justice. The United States has become an ideal location for human traffickers. These studies indicate that the rate of trafficking as a criminal enterprise has multiplied exponentially. In 2001-2002, the U.S. Department of State Trafficking and Person report, report indicated that the number of people trafficked across international borders every year was estimated to be about 700,000. Now that I've shared with you some of the some of the areas globally where human trafficking is popular, I will share with you some documented ramifications. Increased criminal pen penalties for human trafficking, including prison sentences up to 15 years to life. And I'm running out of time, so it appears that. Popular representations of legal and illegal migration usually involve men with women appearing when discussion turns to victims of sex trafficking. In conclusion, global human trafficking is profitable, popular in several countries, and there are ramifications for traffickers if caught.